Let's talk about setting up and using the ELF 504. I have already downloaded and installed the GeekSmart app for my smartphone. I'm going to click the app up here. There we go. And we are opening the app. Right now I have added no smart locks or smart devices yet. So the welcoming screen is quite empty. But I am going to click the add device button right there. Now I am going to choose to add a lock, add a smart lock. And then I'm going to click my chosen lock. I'm going to choose the LF504 up there. Now the app tells me to touch the device, touch the screen to turn on the lock. Alright, I'm going to press next. And we want to make sure to have our Bluetooth connected or open. Now I'm going to click my lock there. Adding administrator successful. And it's that simple to add an administrator and start setting up your lock. Now you can see that we have an interface here. This is the given interface for this lock. From here you can choose to lock and unlock the lock from the button on top. To lock your door, long press this icon. Locked. And I can press again to unlock it. Unlocked. There we go. From the app interface, I can also choose to add and manage fingerprints. To do so, we press the Add fingerprint, fingerprint management button down here. Now we choose to add a new fingerprint up here. Press add new fingerprint. Here we choose to give the fingerprint a name and we choose it to be permanent if so desired. I call my name Emil because that is my name. And I press next. Please press your finger on the sensor. Now I am asked to press my finger on the sensor. And I will do so. Please press again. One more time. Please press again. One more time. Input successful. And there we go. I have now scanned and added my fingerprint so that I can use my fingerprint to lock and well, unlock my door. Let's see how it works. Unlocked. Sorry. Here we have a locked door, so I can scan my fingerprint, and there we go. I can also add an IC card from the uh, app interface. To do so, I press the IC card management down here. You can see no cards have been added prior to this, so I need to add a new IC card. I press up here on the top right. I press add IC card. And here I can choose to give it a name and choose a time span. I choose my name, uh, my IC card name to be front door. How about that? And I want it to be permanent. Now I press next. Please swipe your card. And I am asked to swipe my card. Here is my IC card. Input successful. And there we go. It's that easy to add an IC card. Now I can use my IC card Locked. to unlock my door. Unlocked. There we go. From the app interface, I can also choose to manage and create new passwords and passcodes. To do so, 
we press the password management button over here. There we go. Now I want to add a new password. So I press up here the plus button and add new password. There we go. Now I have a couple of possibilities here. I want to create my own password. So I press the custom button, the custom option. Custom. And now I have a couple of possibilities here, a couple of options, right? I choose permanent. I write my name, email, and I set my password to be 1234. There you go, very simple. Press done. Press create and send. Now I can send this password to anybody with in the email. But I can also choose to use it myself. Let's go ahead and try that. My password was one, two, three, four. And to log it in, to open, press the hash button. There we go. If you're not so crazy about using your phone with your lock, you can also choose to use key. The keyhole on the LF504 is hidden behind this little cover here. So what you want to do is you want to use something sharp to pop it open. There we go. And now you can insert the key to unlock your door. Or lock it. There we go. Thank you for watching the LF504 introduction video.